in my research, we use force plates, which are embedded in a runway in the ground, and we have the horse walk, trot, canter over these force plates. And every time the hoof hits the ground, we measure the force between the hoof and the ground. So we're interested in the size of the force, how that force travels up the horse's leg, and of course what we can do to reduce those forces, or at least to keep them within acceptable limits for the horse. So we're also interested in how horses perform on different types of footing. And to study that, we can attach sensors onto the horse's hoof or the horse's leg, or sometimes even just onto different parts of the horse's body to see how the effects of different footings get transmitted through the horse's body. Um, we can also now use pieces of equipment to test the properties of the footing. So for example, before the Olympics in London, there was a lot of testing done on the footing there because it was on a platform, an artificial platform that was raised above the ground and they put all the footing on top of this platform and then went around with this special testing device that's um, a modification of a drop hammer. So it takes a, a weight and drops it from a height onto the ground and at the same time it turns a little bit so it simulates the way the hoop actually contacts the ground and turns. And they could look for consistency of the footing and check that it really was suitable both for the dressage and the jumping horses.